Friends of a Spokane woman say a family argument over money and property turned violent, sending the woman to the hospital and putting her brother behind bars. KXY Forest Tanya Dahl joins us live from Deaconess tonight where the woman is recovering. Tanya? 51-year-old Karen Brown is recovering tonight, and friends say a dispute over her late father's inheritance is what drove her brother over the edge. I actually started to cry, and she put her hand out to me. Carrie Inman says seeing her neighbor for the first time today after her attack was shocking. She said that he tried to rip her ear off. Her ear was, like, all bloody. She had blood crusted up on top of her head and she had a neck brace. According to Inman, Karen Brown didn't see the assault coming, but in the past she said she'd feared for her safety. I've never seen them argue before, but I have heard Karen, you know, state that she did fear for her life a few times. Late yesterday afternoon, Patrick Roop got violent. Court records show he beat her with a two by four and an air conditioner. Neighbors say the family has been divided over inheritance. I just know that there's been a uh, conflict about her father's estate. Um, he passed away in March and she's the executor. Today, Roop made his first appearance in court. He's charged with first degree assault. There's no charges in 72 hours and this is all party. A judge's order now says Roop can't have contact with his sister. You can't call her, write her, have anything to do with her. And neighbors living on this street just hope that this is as bad as it gets. I've never seen her look like that before and it was just horrific. It was, I can't even imagine what she went through. And Rupp's bond was set at $250,000 today and the judge overseeing the case says he can't return home since he lives just two blocks away from his sister's house. Reporting live from Deaconess, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News. Late this afternoon, we spoke to Karen Brown in the hospital where she says she does plan to press charges. He definitely tried to kill me. That was his motivation, just to destroy me. She suffers from a broken jaw, mm -hmm. split forehead, and extensive bruising. Tonight, she's undergoing surgery to pin her jaw back together.